Oh, no! Oh. Oh. Wolfu, mm. too much candy oh. isn't good for you. Why is that? Do you want to know why? Let knowledge click. The candy you eat has a lot of sugar in it. Sugar gives your body energy Ooh. to play and have fun. Oh. A little bit of sugar is good for energy, but too much can cause something called no. a sugar rush. That's when your body gains too much energy from sweets, making you run around like crazy. But after a while, your energy drops suddenly, and you'll feel tired and unable to focus. It can also make your heart beat faster, leaving you feeling uncomfortable. Oh no! I don't want to be that tired. Too much sugar can hurt your teeth and mouth health too. Sugar is also the wow. perfect food for harmful bacteria in your mouth. After eating sugar, the bacteria make acid as waste. Besides harming your teeth, eating too much sugar can also make your tummy feel really bad. How, Professor Hoot? <laughs> Eating too much sugar can also upset the bacteria in your stomach, giving you a tummy ache. So what should I do to enjoy candy without harming my body? Eat only a small amount of candy each day. Rinse your mouth or brush your teeth after eating to protect your teeth. And lastly, Eat balanced, healthy food to keep your body strong. Hmm. Hey friends, remember not to eat too much candy and brush your teeth after. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <gasps> ah. Why huh? is there a chili on this? What's wrong with you, Daddy? <laughs> oh. That's huh? because he hmm. ate spicy food. <laughs> I can tell you why. Let knowledge Click! Oh. Did you know? Spicy uh. isn't really a taste like sweet, sour, or salty. <laughs> Chili peppers have special chemical inside. When it touches your tongue, it tickles your nerves and makes your mouth feel all hot and burny. The nerves send a message to your brain. Your brain thinks you're really burning. So, it tells your body to cool down. Like making your heart beat fast, your eyes cry, and your skin sweat. Even though you're not really hot. Oh, But I drank water. Why is my mouth still on fire? The spicy chemical doesn't mix with water. Drinking water just spreads the heat. To cool it down, try something with fat or starch, like ice cream, milk, butter, rice or bread. Mm. <sighs> they can wash away the spicy and calm your mouth fast. <laughs> oh. But why do some people like spicy food? <laughs> For some people. Spicy food makes their taste buds tingle and gives them a fun feeling, like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> Here you are, Wufu. Jeez, I thought you were a real moving skeleton. <laughs> Did you know why we have bones in our bodies? Let knowledge click. Imagine a body like a house. It needs a strong frame to stand upright. 
Just like that. We have bones because they act as the frame that supports our whole body. Thanks to our bones, we can stand up straight, run, jump, grab things, or dance around. With our bones to support us, our bodies would just be a pile of skin and hair that couldn't stand up at all. Bones also help protect important parts inside our body, like the heart, brain, and lungs. Babies are born with around 300 soft bones that haven't joined together yet. As you grow, these bones slowly join together and get stronger, forming a total of 206 bones. Its bones can grow longer over time. That's how you get taller. I'll grow huh? tall like daddy, right, professor? Bones grow over time, but you need to take care of them if you want them to be strong and healthy. To help your bones grow strong, you should drink milk every day. It's full of calcium, which means healthy bones. You can also eat foods like cheese, spinach, and kiwi. They're all great for your bones. Hmm, I'll drink lots of milk so I can grow even taller than Daddy. You just stole that. Don't <gasps> deny it. Mm. I didn't do it. Do you have any proof? Hmm. Huh? Ah. What is that thing that can show who's the thief is? That's a fingerprint, dear. Do you want to know what it is? Yes. Let knowledge clear. Fingerprints are tiny ridges on your fingertips. They form patterns like arch, loop, or whirl. Fingerprints start forming when you're still in your mom's belly. Around the third month, they grow as your fingers grow. But wow. their shape never changes your whole life. Oh, so do we have the same fingerprints as our parents or siblings? No, no one in the world had the exact same fingerprints. Even the twins don't have the same fingerprints. Fingerprints help you hold things because the little lines stop them from sleeping. Yeah. And since everyone has unique prints, they also help with identification and security. <laughs> no! <laughs> Police can solve cases with fingerprints. If a thief touches something in the scene, they might leave a print. Huh? Eh? Hmm. Then the police can check whose fingerprint it is and find out who did it. Yes. Huh. Oh. I thought only dirty hands leave fingerprints. How can clean hands leave them too? Our hands make sweat and oil. It feels the tiny light. When you touch something, it leaves your fingerprint behind. We got it! <laughs> it wouldn't grow oh. into a tree, oh. Wufu. You want to know why? Let knowledge click. A watermelon seed needs soil, water, and sunlight in order to sprout and grow into a plant. <laughs> On the other hand, the stomach lacks the conditions needed for a seed to sprout. If the watermelon seed doesn't mm. grow, what will happen to it? <laughs> the substances in your stomach 
will help push it out within about three days, along with other food. seeds as I want, right? Hmm. One or two seeds won't hurt, <laughs> but swallowing too many could make you choke or even have stomach ache. <sighs> when you eat watermelon, make sure to spit out the seeds to stay safe, okay? Yes. Huh? Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.